I met his laugh first <laughs> before I actually met Renee. He's one of those guys that comes in with a smile any kind, anyway. He really had this knack of trying to understand people. He knew exactly what he could accomplish. Those are the kinds of traits that you look for in your leaders and people that will lead and disciple people in the Word of God, and he, he has that. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. When you grow up in an urban community, there are not very many positive role models to look after. I dropped out of high school. Uh, I didn't even complete the 10th grade. I had things to do out on the street, and school kind of got in the way. I was married at the age of 17, joined the Navy shortly thereafter. The rest of my youth years were spent in the Navy. When I retired from Navy, I, I ended up at the Rock Church. I ended up being offered the position as facilities director. And then the church hired an executive pastor. He made a very good impression on me. And I kn knew he worked for APU. So I was like, let me go check this place out. So where's it at? The regional center, 5353 Mission Center Road. I was like, what is that address? Sounds so familiar. And I get there and I'm like, wait a minute. This was Bogey's nightclub. This place I used to party at. I've committed enough sin in that building to go to hell twice over. Now it's a place to develop pastors and leaders. And it blew me away. It's like this place was transformed, just like my life was transformed. Again? Oh, no, this time they actually dragged me. Um, he has been a, a, a key figure in continuing uh, the growth of San Diego Compassion Project. And the Compassion Project is, um, is a project where they just acknowledge life. And they realized that the resources for the families of homicide victims were not there. We asked Pastor Renee Colon to come on board as the pastoral leadership. and We wanted a faith-based clergy to lead it. When you're able to do that for families that can't afford funerals, that cannot afford memorials, to let them know that there's community around them, that's the heart of Christ. I see myself in ministry in unconventional ways. People don't go to church like they used to. You walk into a room right now, and everybody in that room, they're all on their cell phone. You're not gonna get them to go to the church, then you need to bring the church to them which led me to where I'm at now as the Chief Executive Officer of Creative Flow Arts and Entertainment, where we create films. Like I told you, you're the one deciding. Go ahead. <laughs> Sweat. Yeah. I'm glad Tamara Hill, as the Executive Director and Founder, brought me on in that position. Creative Flow Arts and Entertainment is working on a film, Diamond in the Rough. It's about human trafficking. The missing pieces and elements that he has brought to this organization is invaluable, and he's a part of this vision. At APU, it's really the community that you see this, this education and this wisdom lived out. People like Dr. Tony Barron, who is a treasure. You're an enormously gifted individual, and I think that the scars of your life, the past and the recent past and those type of things, I think God's not gonna waste any of it. Can I pray for you? I ask Father that his heart would beat as one with you at all times, in good and in bad. And I ask Father that you would anoint his feet so that wherever Renee goes with the many talents that you have provided with him, that people would see Jesus and they would see a humble servant leader that is designed to change the world because of you, Lord Jesus. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon Renee now and forever. Amen. Amen.